Africa, the power of words. The power of words? Well, that's another question. These are the statements and questions that came under spotlight and discussion at a new series titled Literary Crossroads at the Goethe Institute in Johannesburg on Tuesday evening. It is a new series of talks where South African writers meet colleagues from all over the continent and from the African diaspora to discuss trends, topics and themes and prevalent uh, issues in their literatures uh, today. The series is curated by Indra Wusso and in cooperation with previous guests of Literary Crossroads. And this time the organizers invited author Yawande Omutoso and writer Jumoke Verissimo who join us now to tell us more about Tuesday. Tuesday night's event and their current projects. Ladies, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Good morning. How was Tuesday? You wonder, let's start with you. It was, I mean, on many levels, it was incredible. Firstly, Jamoke is, um, is a writer I respect greatly, but she's yeah. also a dear friend. Yeah. And so it was wonderful to be on a panel and be on a platform with her um, at the Goethe Institute. Mm -hmm. And the discussion was just really warm. You know, these, the idea of literary crossroads is literally that, is that word, mm. the crossing, the connection, writers getting to speak to one another. And I really, I really enjoyed that. Mm. Chumuge, I mean, what for you stood out about this current uh, topic, and which was specifically the power of words? Um, I, I, I think it was quite interesting and, I mean, um, fascinating to introspect the, uh, we, we use words, that's why we write. <laughs> and <laughs> it, it was quite good to introspect the idea of writing with my friend and, uh, and writer, and also listen to the audience actually share their own opinion about what they think about um, writing and what they think of what we were there to discuss uh, actually in general. Mm. Yeah. And for you, what stood out about Tuesday's discussion? Um, I think what stood out for me the most was the, so the, the main tagline, the power of words and we're, well, we're always in, in a moment in history. So we're in this moment in history. And what, you know, what's the role of words today mm -hmm. as we struggle with what we struggle with, the challenges that we face as a country, also as a continent and as a people. So, so the idea of power and words together in a sentence mm -hmm. is what I think um, stood out for me and what's really important that we're talking about that. And what is the power of words in your opinion? <laughs> 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 I think the power of word is one of the reasons we are here now. Mm. Mm. What is everything that mean? Um, we could say we, we words created us. We, we are, bene we are um, here because we are words. Mm. We, you are a word, I am a word, and actually the whole universe is made of words. Mm. You know, mm. Mm. We, we create ima imagination, we create with words. Mm -hmm. you know, so that itself is power. Mm. That itself is es essence, and mm. that itself is um, our own existence and all, you know. Mm. Let's talk about your work, what you're currently busy with. I read somewhere that you conduct poetry workshops as well. Are you still busy with that? And what is it about teaching that is so close to your heart? Yeah, I, um, it was, uh, I did that for a period because I, feel, I felt at the time I needed to give back to uh, the society. And yeah, at this time, I... Um, Organizing with some other friend um, a, a mentorship program with um, other Nigerian writers and poets, um, some six months, I mean, some six weeks uh, program to teach Nigerian poets, I mean, some emerging Nigerian poets how to better their form mm -hmm. and, I mean, to have mentors whom they can actually ask questions. So it's, it's, it, each year I try to come up with something new. I mean, giving back, you know, mm. trying to encourage people. And um, I think that, that's actually the essence of, uh, of it all, Yeah, to be able to give back something. Mm. Yeah, one day, I mean, mm. let's talk about the woman next door. I, I don't want to spoil it for people. And, you know, I'm also halfway through oh, it as okay? well. <laughs> but I read somewhere, and I think it was one of the reviews, that this might, you know, have the same impact as Bon Boy uh, to literature or to readers. Do you think that's the case? Is that what you were going for? That, I mean, it's, that's very generous and thank you to whoever, <laughs> to whoever said that. And um, what I'm always going for is to, to tell a story that moves people. Mm. I mean, that's as much as you can wish. And I don't think one can plan to win prizes. And, you know, I think that's 
there's a lot of lottery that's linked to that. And I think my main job as a writer is to tell a story that moves people. Mm -hmm. And so if, if that's what the book is doing, then I'm happy. Brief synopsis, what is it about? It's, I say it's, a, it's the story of a hate ship between two octogenarian neighbors. Mm -hmm. That's my elevator pitch. But it's really the, these two women, Marion and Hortensia, who live next door to each other. One is black, one is white. So there mm -hmm. is issues of race, but there's also class. <coughs> They're incredibly wealthy. And it's about this cantankerous relationship. And the question of the book is, can they... Can a friendship come out of that? Mm -hmm. Can we reconcile? Can we be friends? Can difference disappear um, in these intimate spaces? For you, uh, let's talk about the highlights that came out of these two projects that are with us uh, at the moment. Just quickly, what, what were you trying, what were you intending to do? That, um, yeah, the literary crossroad. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think it's important for readers to know, I mean, the process of writing. And I actually, it was a good thing to share with the audience mm -hmm. the process and the challenges, the, uh, I mean, the moments, and uh, um, the things that writers face behind the scene, if I should say. <laughs> and it's, it, it's, it's, I think that, that essentially was one thing. And then, of course, there was also a, an opportunity to get instant feedback and um, a, a different audience, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. the, the way they see things, because it is, you, one just writes most of the time. And you find these opportunities to now get back from, I mean, hear from the readers mm. and those who actually want to see more of you. Mm. All right, uh, ladies, thank words. you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending the morning with us. Thank you very uh, much. Author Yewande Omotosa and a writer, uh, Chumoke Verissimo, uh, speaking to us about their role at the Goethe Institute's Literary Crosswords, which is a series of talks where South Africans uh, writers meet uh, their <coughs> colleagues from all over the continent. All right, let's take a quick ad break. We're back after this. Stay with us.